you thinking? Why are you here again? Like, you've literally been here three times in a matter of like four or five vlogs. And here's my answer. My grandparents just got here and they need their tickets to be synced. But that's okay, because the next four vlogs are gonna be all Disney parks. And it just gives us more time to experience the lovely Disney Springs. So why wouldn't you want that? It's amazing here. The best food on property. We're gonna go explore the world of Disney. It's very crowded in here. Oh look, hold on. Look at this, look at this, hold on. I'm gonna show you this. There are a ton of lights. Whoa, it just redid something. Whoa, okay. All of the like the Mickey merch for his birthday. Minnie's there too, because she was in the same cartoon. That's pretty cool actually. They have a reproduction of the original dolls that they used to make after Steamboat Willie came out. And they have um, some shirts. How much does this cost? Um, 35 bucks, wow. How much does the reproductions actually? Hold on. Crap, hold on, give me a second. Oh gosh, okay. I can confirm that this is $50 on the dot. It's, I think it'd be worth it. They have a ton of leftover 4th of July merch. But the thing that intrigues me the most is this. It's a portrait of the original Sam the Eagle from American Sings in Disneyland. I wish you could buy this. This is actually really cool. They have both Star Wars sections and Marvel sections. Marvel featured more prominently right now, probably because of the success of Endgame and Far From Home. Oh, I like that painting. Are these for sale? These are like everywhere. They have a ton of Lion King merch for the new movie that comes out soon. But the thing that is most interesting are these plushes here. They have them of Baby Simba. I think this is Simba, right? Does it say it there? No. It's um, Baby Simba and Baby Nala. With every one of these people buy, they like donate to a charity. I'm not sure which one though. But this is pretty cool. They have a ton of Toy Story 4 merch here too because of the movie just came out. I, I really want one of these. These are like, all the paintings I have look like they're really cool. But if you've seen my video, <laughs> I'm seeing this plug, um, you should see what I think about it. Oh, they have fork. That's cool. Just got some awesome pin trades in here, but I'm gonna actually head over to Disney Pin Traders, which is around the corner in the old Buena Vista shopping district area, so I can show you what they are and show you all the new pins that just came in. Jake Gyllenhaal eyes, by the way. I'm definitely gonna say, if you're coming here, come here early in the morning. It's super crowded right now. It says that as I'm in an open area. But it is crowded, I'm just in a lucky area. Um, come here early in the morning, because it only gets more and more crowded as the day goes on. And that's just not fun at all. Can't be free Ghirardelli chocolate. Here we are, Disney Pin Traders. It's the, actually the biggest pin store on property, and let's go inside. These are all the hidden Mickey pins for this year. I'm probably gonna go for the figment ones because figment's awesome. But if I got this one or this one, I probably wouldn't mind. I'd be cool with those two. Actually, all of these look pretty good. I'd probably go for all of them if I could, but there's no way I could ever. Just to give you an idea, this is only like a seventh of the store. So that's pretty cool. They also sell some Funkos here, and they have some theme park exclusives like the Rainbow Unicorn from Inside Out, Alice, and Rocket from Mission Breakout in California. 
they have all these limited editions, and I think I'm gonna pick up this um, Magic of Honor Spaceship Earth one. It's a series that's been going on all year, but I just um, I haven't really been interested in the other ones so far. Annual pass holder exclusive Magic bands, it looks like, and they're limited release, and they ha it says pass holder and it has Mickey in the castle on it. I might pick this one up too, but I'm not sure. After a fun trip to tri Pin Traders, I got the reusable bag, and I got that Spaceship Earth pin I showed you guys because I really like it. After a little while hanging out here in Disney Springs, we're gonna go head on over to Raglan Road because it's one of our favorites and I haven't done a review on it yet, so I can do that right now too. Dude, this is my store! So they have a Toy Story Drop like preview center it looks like here and they have little stands up where you can play the game and if you download the game, they actually give you this pop socket here. It's actually pretty cool. Um, if you're wondering where that is, it's actually, um, it's right next to Paddlefish right there. I don't really use pop sockets, but you can't really be free at Disney. We always eat here when we're here, and I just haven't done a dining review of it yet, so let's jump in. Um, I got the bangers and mash, and it was amazing. I actually got it last time, and I didn't really like it, but they must have changed something because it was great this time. Um, all of my family agreed that it was great. The service was pretty good. The dancers are always fun to watch because they're really good at it. And there was this one lady this time who was playing the accordion. I think that's what it's called. I'm not really sure. And she was really good at it. At one point, she was playing with it behind her head. I didn't get that part on the video, which I'm kind of sorry for. Um, but overall, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. And I really, just, I really like this place. It's one of our favorites. I love the um, Irish theming. I love the Irish style of food. It's great. So we're at like food truck courtyard, I think it's called. And they only have two of the trucks right now. I don't think they have all of them. Because there used to be one called Fantasy Fair that like had like the Disneyland corn dogs. But right now they have like a, looks like a Mexican one. And one that's like all mac and cheese. The actual NBA experience isn't open. But the NBA store is. So they have like the standard basketball market it looks like. A ton of shirts with all the teams on them. I know this one, that's the Bulls, and that's the Celtics. Um, and there's actually a lot of Magic merch, because Disney actually owns the Orlando Magic team, and that's why they built this whole NBA experience. And they have some, like, jersey-styled shirts over here. They've got some, like, mannequins modeling a game. And the whole floor, I don't think you'll be able to see it from here, but it actually looks like a basketball court, and that's pretty cool. The, the Disney Spirit jerseys, this is the first time I've seen spirit jerseys for toddlers, but they have spirit jerseys that have Disney Worlds spelled out of like the same material that makes basketballs. And it looks like they have a section for each team, or at least all the popular teams. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's a lot of money though. 
We've got balls that say NBA experience on them. And the final two things I want to show you are the hat section back there. They have hats for every team, it looks like. It's actually really cool. Um, yeah. But they also, they also have a customized station where you can make magnets, ornaments, water bottles, magic bands, or phone cases. And I think my brother's gonna make a water bottle, so I'll show you how that turns out when he's done. And this is a pretty cool picture spot, but it looks like these black um, pull downs, looks like these are gonna be the exits from the like actual experience to the um, like to the store. Oh, hold on. Right here, are these like, these look like these are how you can buy your tickets into the NBA experience. I think it opens on August 12th and it's around $30 per person. Overall, the um, NBA experience is actually really cool. Everyone is really into it that who works there, but um, it could just never live up to Disney Quest. Disney Quest was too fun for me. I love this store, but I didn't think Disney was allowed to use Marvel in the theme parks. Maybe they are, and I just don't know. Holy heckle. Look at that. Um, I'd rather save my pennies. But that would be worth it. Look at that. Oh. Whoa, look at that. They have like a build your own gauntlet station. You could like make your own gauntlet. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, it looks like, yeah, you can mix and match them. That's pretty cool. That takes so much skill, that's insane. They turn them in from that into that. That's just, it blows my mind. I think that's gonna be all for today. So I'm gonna, the next four vlogs are gonna be Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. I don't know if they're gonna be in that order, but without further ado, I'll see you all next time.